Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthnagar, Uttarakhand. In this lecture, I will tell you about the specific deficiency symptoms of potassium, what are the peculiar symptoms of potassium deficiency and what are the reasons behind the potassium deficiency and what are the corrective measures. So please watch a lecture on metabolic function of potassium and this lecture is available in the playlist mineral nutrition of crop plants. So this lecture को देखने से पहले आप potassium के metabolic function को देखिए playlist में है mineral nutrition of crop plants में सभी nutrients के function है please watch this lecture metabolic function of potassium in plants then you can make a clear cut idea about the potassium deficiency. Potassium deficiency symptoms are very specific and these symptoms occur on older leaves. Actually, potassium is mobile in plants. So, nutrients are actually two types, mobile and immobile in plants. If nutrient is mobile in plant, then deficiency symptoms appear on lower leaves. And for example, uh, mobile nutrient nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium and molybdenum. And if it is less mobile or uh, immobile, if it is immobile then on terminal buds like calcium and boron and it is less mobile then deficiency symptoms appear on younger leaves so potassium is mobile in plants so deficiency symptoms appear on their lower leaves so this is very characteristic feature of potassium deficiency that its deficiency occur on older leaves so jo nutrients plants ke andar mobile hai unki deficiency symptoms hamesha lower leaves mein aate hain because the nutrient requirement of younger leaf is more so that's why nutrients are translocated from older leaf to younger leaf or newer leaves to jab plants ki growth hoti hai aur deficiency aa jaye potassium ki to younger leaves ko zyada zarurat hoti hai to agar nutrient mobile hai to older leaves se naye leaves ki taraf chala jata hai yahi reason hota hai ki jo mobile nutrients hain unki deficiency symptoms older leaves mein aati hain and npk magnesium and molybdenum deficiency appear on lower leaves because these nutrients are mobile in plants and the deficiency symptom is that on older leaves suppose it is older leaves okay and this is the uh, midrib and these are the veins like that then potassium deficiency occurs on the margins on the margins then these margins become a yellowing is started on the margin this is very peculiar characteristic so yellowing is there and yellowing means loss of chlorophyll so chlorosis is the first symptom तो पोटेशियम डेफिशिएंसी में सबसे पहले क्लोरोसिस होती है मार्जिंस पे होगी ओल्डर लीव्स की मार्जिंस पे होगी लॉस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल होगा और इसमें जो है येलो होने लगेगी टिप्स से यहां से टिप्स से सो टिप्स और अफेक्टेड फर्स्ट वन देन देयर इज नेक्रोसिस नेक्रोसिस इज द डेथ नेक्रो नेक्रोसिस नेक्रोसिस मींस डेथ ऑफ टिश्यू देन दिस दिस इज डेथ ऑफ टिश्यू सो दिस इज द डेथ नाउ दिस एरिया बिकम डेड so this is first chlorosis then necrosis so these are very peculiar symptoms of potassium deficiency pehle chlorosis hogi yellowing hogi uska necrosis ye pura part dead ho jayega brown ho jayega and this part is dead brown it is dead and color is brown and this deficiency proceed to this to the base but the mid rib remain as such so this is the peculiar deficiency symptoms of potassium and it occurs on ओल्डर लीव्स तो ओल्डर लीव्स के टिप से मार्जिन से पहले योलाइंग होगी उसके बाद नेक्रोसिस डेथ हो जाएगी और वो डेड हो जाएगा और बिल्कुल ब्राउन हो जाएगा और ऐसा लगेगा कि बिल्कुल पत्ती सूख जाती है बिल्कुल ड्राई हो जाएगी तो दिस इज़ दी वेरी स्पेसिफिक करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ पोटेशियम डेफिशेंसी जब कभी इस तरह का सिम्टम्स हो समझ जाइए कि ये पोटेशियम की डेफिशेंसी है एंड दिस अकर ऑन लोअर लीव्स दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट ऑन अपर लीव्स इट इज़ ऑन lower leaves and the other symptoms are stunted growth short internode poor grain size poor grain these are the other symptoms these are the result or the effects but the, on the plant the visible symptom is chlorosis and the necrosis and the death of this part so this is very common deficiency symptom of potassium uh, deficiency एंड अक्कर ऑन लोअर लिप्स वाइट अक्कर ऑन लोअर लिप्स मैंने भी आपको बताया क्योंकि ये मोबाइल है क्योंकि जो प्लांट्स की जो लीव्स होंगी Suppose this is the uh, older leaves and this is the younger leaves. Uh, younger leaves, so requirement is more. Then potassium is transported from this to this. So here potassium deficiency occur on lower leaves because it is mobile. So potassium is translocated to 
upper lip. So, th there is no deficiency symptoms on upper lips. So, upper lips remain green. Upper lips remain green. There is no chlorosis, no necrosis. So, symptoms are on lower lips. So, this is very specific. Bahut important characteristic hai ki lower lips mein hi chlorosis, necrosis hoti, upper lips mein nahi hoti, upper lips green rehti hai. So, why there is a potassium deficiency? There are many reasons uh, behind the potassium deficiency. It is generally asked in examination. So, first important factor is what is the parent material of the soil? Soil kiss parent material se bani hai? This is very important. If parent material is rich in potassium, then there is no deficiency. If it is lack the potassium then definitely deficiency so parent material if it is make of felspar felspar uh, muscovite um, muscovite uh, mica that is uh, mica and biotite these are rich in potassium these are rich in potassium so if soil is rich in this minerals then there is weathering of rocks and there is a release of potassium then there is no deficiency but if uh, soil lack this uh, potassium bearing minerals then there is a deficiency so if potassium lack the uh, soil sorry soil uh, deficient in potassium bearing minerals so there will deficiency aayegi so if soil mein felspar muscovite mica biotite ye minerals nahi hai to usme uh, definitely uh, potassium nahi hai to potassium deficiency aayegi and second is uh, organic matter is important source if organic matter is uh, low then definitely potassium deficiency occur so that's why uh, apply organic matter fym compost or crop uh, residue crop residue are very important and crop residue contain a good amount of potassium actually potassium is not uh, translocated from straw to grain many nutrients are transported from uh, shoot to or leaves or from leaves or stem to grain but in case of potassium, maximum amount remain in straw. So, the nutrients are transported to leaves and uh, uh, stem in grain, mein, nitrogen, phosphorus, zinc, whatever. But in potassium ke case, mein hai. potassium ke case mein potassium is straw. Mein hai. That's why uh, straw is very important uh, source of potassium. So, straw recycling is very important. So, in the field where there is no straw recycling, there is no uh, straw recycling, no... Uh, then they, they, this type of field suffer from potassium uh, deficiency. Another, uh, that's why if we uh, recycle the straw, we can fulfill the potassium uh, requirement of the plant. So first important point is the what is the parent material? If it is uh, low in uh, potassium bearing minerals, definitely potassium deficiency. Then low organic matter content. Then no straw recycling. The another factor is uh, soil salinity. What is the salinity? If salinity is more, if pH is high pH uh, is high pH and because of this salinity there is more uh, dominance of uh, uh, sorry this uh, calcium and calcium magnesium and potassium and these compete with this oh, sorry this sodium and these compete with the potassium so if there is high content of calcium magnesium they compete uh, for the absorption agar kisi soil ki salinity hai usme ph zyada ja rahi hai to calcium magnesium zyada hai usme sodium zyada hai aur ye uh, compete karte hain potassium ke sath plants ka absorption hone ke liye if there is high ratio of high ratio of this calcium magnesium and sodium uh, then definitely potassium deficiency is there so this is the reason that in salinity high ph soil there is potassium deficiency so we should reclaim such type of soil so reclamation of such type of salinity soil alkalinity soil if alkaline hai sodium jada hai to bhi wahan deficiency aayegi kyunki sodium ki dominance hai aur sodium compete karega absorption ke liye potassium ko absorption nahi hone dega next is uh, low ph soil or acidic soil we can say acidic soil and ph is low so this is the problem high ph and low ph actually at uh, acidic condition uh, hydrogen is dominant and this hydrogen replace the potassium from the exchange complex and it causes the potassium leaching so in acidic soil there is a potassium leaching and potassium is uh, if there is in soil water then it leaches down and it causes the deficiency so this is the problem then uh, another factor is a uh, highly weathered soil weathered soil if there is a weathering uh, and leaching is there weather and leach leaching is there uh, because of weathering potassium is released and leaching is there then it not retained by the soil collides and it leaches down so it causes a potassium deficiency so jin soil mein weathering jada hai leaching jada hai 
वहां पे क्या होगा पोटेशियम तो रिलीज होगा वेदरिंग से लेकिन सॉइल सॉल्यूशन में आएगा और वहां लीचिंग ज्यादा हो रही है तो नीचे चला जाएगा और रूट जोन में नहीं रहेगा फॉर एग्जांपल एल्फी सॉल्स एल्फी सॉल्स आर मोर प्रोन टू पोटेशियम डेफिशिएंसी बिकॉज ऑफ हाई वेदरिंग और मोर लीचिंग सिमिलरली अनदर फैक्टर इज सैंडी सॉइल एंड सैंडी सॉइल एंड दूस सॉइल वेयर लीचिंग इज मोर सैंडी सॉइल्स इन केस ऑफ सैंडी सॉइल्स लीचिंग इज मोर सो लीचिंग इज द फैक्टर so potassium is not retained on the soil colloid and leaching is there so in soil in those soil where leaching is more potassium deficiency is high to kisi bhi soil mein jisme leaching zyada ho rahi hai usme potassium deficiency hogi to leaching kis mein hogi highly weathered soil mein ho sakti hai aur sandy soil mein to hogi kyunki uski jo c c cation exchange capacity bahut kam hoti hai aur leaching hogi and another factor uh, we can say that uh, clay mineral type mineral type clay mineral type uh, which fix the uh, potassium for example vermiculite इलाइट माउंट मोरिलोनाइट सो वर्मिकुलाइट हैज मोर फिक्सेशन ऑफ पोटेशियम सिमिलरली इलाइट मिनरल हैज मोर फिक्सेशन सो दैट्स वाई वर्मिकुलाइट एंड इलाइट डोमिनेटेड सॉइल फिक्स मोर पोटेशियम एंड लेस एबिलिटी ऑफ पोटेशियम टू प्लांट एंड द प्लांट सफर फ्रॉम पोटेशियम डिफिशेंसी तो कुछ मिनरल्स ऐसे हैं टू इस टू वन टाइप के हैं वर्मिकुलाइट है इलाइट है जो पोटेशियम को फिक्स कर देते हैं इंटर क्ले लेयर में और उससे जो है पोटेशियम रिलीज नहीं हो पाता है सॉइल सोल्यूशन में नहीं आ पाता है प्लांट्स को अवेलेबल नहीं होता है तो ये एक रीजन मैंने आपको बताया सिमिलरली इफ देर इज लो मॉइस्चर इफ मॉइस्चर इज लो देते हैं लो मॉइस्चर कंटेंट बिकॉज पोटेशियम इज अवेलेबल थ्रू डिफ्यूजन एंड सम पार्ट थ्रू मास फ्लो सो पोटेश वाटर कंटेंट इन सॉइल इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो लो मॉइस्चर कंटेंट और वी कैन से ड्रॉट कंडीशन पोटेशियम इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो वी कैन से द अदर कंडीशन इज ड्रॉट इफ ड्रॉट इज देयर ड्रॉट देन इट कॉज द पोटेशियम डेफिशेंसी बिकॉज वाटर इज मस्ट बिकॉज इट इज अवेलेबल फॉर डिफ्यूजन बाई डिफ्यूजन एंड इन सम अमाउंट बाई मास फ्लो देन पुअरली ड्रेंड सॉइल पुअरली ड्रेंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन राइस फील्ड इन राइस फील्ड transplanted rice field potassium deficiency is there the reason is that there is anaerobic condition and h2s gas is formed this gas hampered the uh, root morphology and the root physiology and thus uh, reduces the potassium deficiency so in poorly drained soil uh, particularly in rice field this h2s formation reduces the potassium uptake similarly in uh, this poorly drained soil uh, iron is present uh, in ferrous form and this ferrous form also uh, cause the uh, potassium deficiency uh, through competition so production of hydrogen sulfide gas and uh, excess concentration of ferrous cause the potassium deficiency and uh, this potassium actually is uh, available through diffusion and this diffusion is uh, affected by the temperature temperature and the moisture so in winter season in winter season potassium deficiency is likely to occur but in uh, jo phosphorus deficiency hai wo bhi uh, diffusion uh, ke through hota hai aur winter season of phosphorus ki deficiency zyada hoti hai potassium ki itni zyada nahi hoti hai to ye question uh, aa sakta hai uh, banta hai ki uh, in winter season there is phosphorus deficiency is common but not potassium why there is so actually uh, jo potassium hai ye soil solution mein aa jata hai k plus form mein it remain in k plus form and it is also available through mass flow but phosphate is in uh, iron form aluminum form or calcium phosphate form these are the phosphate form and these are the insoluble form actually that's why phosphorus deficiency is common in winter season but not so in case of potassium aisa nahi hai potassium ki deficiency winter season mein aane ka chance hai lekin potassium kyunki uh, k plus form mein hai soil solution mein aa jata hai to thoda mass flow se bhi available ho jata hai lekin ye aisa phosphate ke form mein nahi hai to in winter season so if winter season uh and in moisture wet if it is wet anaerobic condition so in winter season if soil is uh, wet too wet then it may cause the uh, potassium deficiency so if soil is too wet or too dry too wet or too dry then it also cause potassium deficiency agar soil bahut sukhi hai ya bahut geeli hai bahut moisture hai to bhi potassium deficiency aayegi aur winter season mein to isliye aayegi kyunki wo diffusion ke through hai to ye reasons hain kuch ki uh, jisse potassium deficiency ये कि चांसेस होते हैं सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट रीजन फॉर पोटेशियम डिफिशेंसी हाउ टू करेक्ट दी दिस पोटेशियम डिफिशेंसी वेरी सिंपल इज दैट द अप्लाई द पोटेशियम फर्टिलाइजर अकॉर्डिंग टू सॉइल टेस्ट वैल्यू वट इज द सॉइल टेस्ट वैल्यू अकॉर्डिंगली अपलाई द रिकमेंडेड रेट ऑफ 
potassium through fertilizer MOP is available, potassium sulfate is available and during the crop season, if there is a potassium deficiency, then apply the soluble uh, uh, potassium fertilizer like uh, MOP, uh, KCL or uh, potassium sulfate with the irrigation. So, irrigation ke saath humko soluble uh, ya potassium fertilizer humko dena chahiye and the potassium fertilizer spray uh, are not recommended because potassium requirement is very high and this uh, foliar spray are not sufficient to fulfill the potassium requirement. So, the potassium requirement is very high, so foliar spray se itni jada requirement puri nahi ho paati. That's why better way is uh, apply the soluble water soluble fertilizer and give the irrigation. तो इससे बेहतर यह है कि आप इरिगेशन के साथ सॉल्युबल पोटेशियम फर्टिलाइजर को दें सो दिस दीस आर द सम रीजंस फॉर पोटेशियम डिफिशिएंसी एंड द करेक्टिव मेजर सो इंपॉर्टेंट करैक्टरिस्टिक डिफिशिएंसी ऑफ पोटेशियम इज क्लोरोसिस ऑफ द लोअर लीव्स फ्रॉम द टिप्स एंड द मार्जिन एंड देन द नेक्रोसिस एंड द डेड पार्ट ऑफ द लीफ विदाउट अफेक्टिंग द मिड रिब मिड रिब अफेक्ट नहीं होगी एंड द यंगर लीव्स रिमेन ग्रीन so this is the specific characteristics of potassium deficiency and I discuss about the various reasons and the corrective measures. So this was about the potassium deficiency uh, in plants. Thank you very much.